What's going on, YouTube? So manufacturers are in a race not just to make the most capable pickup trucks, but also to make the most luxurious trucks. And sitting at the top of that food chain is this, the 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. So is this the Escalade of trucks? Well, let's go ahead and find out. All right, so let's kick things off, as always, under the hood for our spec dump. So we asked at the beginning, is this the Escalade of trucks? Well, one of the signs that it might be is because it does actually share a lot of the powertrain options with the Escalade, including what we have today, the 6.2 liter V8 engine producing 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. There are some other engine options, which we'll discuss a little later in the test drive. Most Sierras are going to come with a 10-speed automatic transmission. You have the option between two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. As tested today, we're sitting at 16 miles a gallon combined. Now, of course, we need to show you guys the performance out on the street, and we will be doing that later on in our test drive. While we're on that test drive, we're going to do things like get a sound level reading so we can compare to all the other luxurious trucks on the market at carconfections.com. But first, let's close up the hood and see just how fancy the exterior of this Sierra Denali Ultimate looks. So GMC has done a great job of making this really scream luxury from the moment you walk up to it. This of course is gonna have a big bold grill and the Sierra has a lot of different versions depending on the trim level, but as you escalate up and get to the Denali, you're gonna get a lot of chrome. Get to the Denali Ultimate though and you're gonna get this exclusive Vader chrome. This is basically a smoked chrome that's gonna go all the way across the front to give it a little bit of flash, but also a menacing look. And the GMC badge is also blacked out as well. You do still have traditional chrome down here on your lower elements. Now, in terms of our headlights, of course, you're gonna have a beautiful full LED arrangement. This has that signature stacked design with our uh, bracket-shaped daytime running light and turn signal indicator. These do have entry and exit animations as well. And of course you will also have LED fog lamps at the bottom. Now in terms of the rear design, there's not as much different um, with the Denali Ultimate versus the front end design. That's not to say there aren't a few differences though. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about those, but first Drew is gonna go ahead and hop inside and we're gonna check out all the tail lights uh, to see if all the elements are LED. So we do have an LED brake light portion, LED reverse light, and LED turn signal indicator. Of course, the escalated trucks needs to have all three elements as LED. They are including that. As far as some of the Denali Ultimate specific elements back here, we do have the blacked out GMC branding for that more premium look. You're also gonna notice that the uh, side step to get in the tailgate is gonna be reduced and you're gonna have more body color here to give you that more premium look. Now, dropping down to this lower area, we do have dual integrated trapezoidal exhaust outlets and this is an area of change for 2024 because we now have an active exhaust system and let's go ahead and take a sample of that because I think you're going to be impressed. We said Escalade of trucks, but this might just be the Corvette of trucks with that exhaust. Wow. Now heading around to our wheels, Denali will come standard with 20 inch alloy wheels. Denali Ultimate will come standard with these exclusive design 22 inch alloy wheels. They have a very nice look that has a lot of unique elements going on. So you have contrast, you have a satin silver and also chrome inserts inside of it. Definitely looks very fancy. Um, and new for 2024 in the Sierra lineup, you do have some new wheel options, as well as two new paint colors, which we'll include some pictures of right now. In terms of the Ultimate specifically, you are gonna have Ultimate branding right there. The mirrors themselves though, those actually aren't gonna change from the other trims, so you still have a lot of the black plastic up here in the front, but you do have some chrome at the top, and of course they're gonna be fully loaded with all the features. Driver side auto dimming, blind spot monitoring, heating, and power folding. 
Now this is a truck after all, so let's go ahead and talk about those trucky things that you're probably curious about. First of all, let's talk about the tow rating. You have various different tow ratings depending on what engine you choose. The 6.2 liter crew cab four wheel drive, which is what we have today, is rated for 13,000 pounds, which is quite a lot and a good tow rating. Now let's go ahead and talk about the bed as well. So every version of the Denali lineup of, on the Sierra will come with the Multi Pro tailgate. This of course has a lot of different functions to it. So first of all, you can push this top button. That's actually going to lower this area that allows for you to be able to work on like a laptop or something along those lines at the construction site. And then if we drop that open, you can once again press this button that will actually fold this area down. And then by pressing this, we can actually release the step area, which allows for really easy entry into the bed itself. Now, I do also want to point out you have a little handle over here on the side, and the bed itself for the Denali Ultimate is going to be a carbon fiber composite, which is stronger. That's going to be standard on only this top trim level or available on other versions of the Sierra. As far as the bed itself, it is five and a half foot. Uh, you do have some lighting on the sides, but not, other, not very many other functionalities. You're not going to have ramp boxes or anything like that. We do have a household style outlet over here on the left side. Uh, if you need that functionality. But I do want to talk about this. If we drop down to this area, you will notice that we have kicker uh, branding. And that's because we actually have a built-in audio system that's standard here on the Denali Ultimate model that makes tailgating an absolute blast. So not only are you going to have all the functionality for the tailgate itself, you also have audio to go along with it. So really GMC has thought of pretty much everything when it comes to the tailgate area of this model. Now, while we're still talking about the bed, I do want to go ahead and mention how you can get in other ways besides using the tailgate. You, of course, have this little sidestep that I briefly mentioned earlier that allows for easy entry. However, we have a much cooler way to access the bed, especially if you have something up here in the front. We have the power deploying running boards, and that's not all these things do. If you push that button right there, they're actually going to slide back and allow you to easily just step on them and access stuff up in the front of the bed. No other truck has that. I really love that feature that GMC is including. Now, as far as the side itself, you're probably curious about cab and bed configurations. When you choose a Denali trim level, you're going to be locked into crew cab configuration only. However, uh, you do still have the option between a six and a half foot bed or five and a half foot bed, unless you choose the Denali Ultimate, which is locked into the five and a half foot bed you see here. Now, as far as your safety systems are concerned for the Sierra, let's go ahead and dive into that. They're including three out of your four active safety features as standard on every single Sierra model. Additionally, you have the option of getting adaptive cruise control, but that's not all. You also have the option of getting Super Cruise, which is a hands-free highway assist function. And it is incredibly, incredibly cool how it functions. We actually have a tutorial on our channel that you can go watch talking about all the functionalities of Super Cruise. I promise you won't want to miss out on that, so go watch that video now. Um, but we do actually have that on this particular tester today. But guys, that's going to wrap up the exterior of the Sierra. Let's check out the extremely luxurious inside. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers, and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. All right, now let's get inside because you're definitely gonna wanna see this cabin. First, of course, take a look at the key fob. Typical GMC affair. You do have obviously a smart entry system on your upper end models with remote start built into the fob. Getting inside, no sensor behind the handle, so just press the button there. That's gonna unlock the door. And obviously you do have those power deploying running boards that Mason was pointing out earlier. Now. Take a look inside the interior. Right at first glance, you're already going to see a ton of luxury. But the first luxurious bits I want to talk about involve our seats. So Denali, of course, is going to have a very nice leather. But when you choose the Denali Ultimate, that gives you the ultimate seating experience. You have the full grain leather. This, this is the exclusive color called uh, Alpine Umber. It's a kind of a nice creamy brown look. You've got the cross stitch. You have color contrast piping. You have ultimate badging. You have the topographic map engraved into the seat itself. It's an absolutely stunning seat and it's very, very comfortable as well. In addition to that, it is also going to have extra ways of adjustment. So these are going to be 16 way power adjusting with power massage built in. 
Now, obviously you do have memory seats as well. And let's go ahead and climb inside and get into the details. Now, when you get inside, you're gonna go ahead and see a really cool animation pop up across our gauge cluster as well as our main display. And that's just the beginning of the special touches inside of the cabin. So let's start off with some materials. Going over here to our door trim, you're gonna notice tons of beautiful leather all through here. It's gonna have that same color and all the same special stitching details throughout. Up at the top, we have the leather running through there and a beautiful open pour wood. Now, this is exclusive high-end wood for the Denali Ultimate. Also exclusive for the Denali Ultimate is the full leather dashboard with the double stitching detail and contrast piping. We have a genuine smoked aluminum running through here for the Denali Ultimate, as well as more of this beautiful open pour wood. You'll notice inside of it, we actually have the coordinates of Mount Denali, as well as a topographic map engraved into it. And then you've got more of the leather and aluminum running through these sections as well. And then finally, the last little bit is you actually have an Alcantara headliner up here at the top. Uh, this is actually not even on the Yukon Denali Ultimate. So if we had an Escalade truck, I think the interior would be just like this. Now let's go ahead and fire it up with our large metal push button start. Now moving into our gauge cluster. This of course is a 12.3 inch digital setup. You can reconfigure all of the graphics. Uh, you have a lot of customizability. And in addition to that, we also have a 15 inch head up display. This is an absolutely enormous head up display with a ton of information inside of it. Now pulling back to the steering wheel, of course, nicely leather wrapped. As Mason was mentioning on the outside, we do have the Super Cruise system. So you have this little panel up here that uh, tells you when it's active or inactive. And the steering wheel itself will be power tilt and telescoping in addition to heated. Uh, just as always, you're not gonna have power adjusting pedals with this Denali. Now coming over here to our center console, let's talk about interior storage. Trucks, no matter what level of luxury they have, have to have a lot of utility as well. This does deliver. At Car Confections, we do a thing called a donut test. This is basically seeing the volume, of course, of the center console by how many donuts can fit inside. And this one not only passes the dozen donut tests, this holds two dozen, two dozen with room to spare. So you're gonna have absolute ton of space on board for whatever you need. We also have a household power outlet inside of there and you have a phone charger uh, where you can slide your phone right there. Up in front of that, two cup holders, another nice storage cubby in the front. There's a little bit of storage on both sides of this and you have door storage and some storage underneath of that piece of wood. Now you actually do have uh, your shifter right here in the center. Obviously pull back for drive, press forward for reverse. When you go into reverse, we have the 360 degree camera system with a lot of different angles, including the ability to line up a trailer and also check out what's going on in the bed. And then just press the P for park. Now behind the shifter, we do have our trailer brake controller. You're gonna notice a lot of different functions on this row of buttons right underneath of our dual zone automatic climate controls. I do like that everything here is physically rendered. These are very nice and high quality buttons as well. And we also have three stage heated seats in two different zones, as well as three stage ventilated seats. And now let's move up here to another physical knob, which is our volume knob for the audio system. Denali Ultimate comes with an exclusive 13 speaker sound system. So this is going to be obviously the highest end system that you can get. And let's go ahead and give it a sample. Yeah, this performance series sound system means serious business. It really fills up this cabin well. Plus, you know, I love the metal speaker grills and this has one of the biggest metal speaker grills I've ever seen on any vehicle. It's all the way from the ground, 
almost up to the door grab. All right, let's come into our technology area here and talk about the display. So first of all, display size, 13.4 inches. The software it's running is one of General Motors' latest versions. It's going to be Google-based using the Android automotive system and having the Google apps built in. So if I go into the home screen, you'll notice I have the Play Store for downloading applications. I can also go into uh, Google Maps built into the system itself, although I do still have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay abilities as well. Now up above, we're going to have an auto dimming, frameless mirror. Denali Ultimate will include the rear camera mirror as standard equipment. Homelink remotes are going to be located up here. And then as far as, well, we do have the power rear glass since I accidentally pressed that. But what I was intending to press was our sunroof right here. This is just a traditional size sunroof. Uh, Sierra still does not offer a panoramic sunroof even on the Denali Ultimate, but this panel is gonna be standard on Denali Ultimate. Now here in the Denali Ultimate's rear seat, like I mentioned on the outside, this does come standard with the crew cab version as you would expect. And that means we have an absolute crap ton. That's an official measurement. Crap ton of space is how much you have. 43.4 inches of legroom, a little over 40 inches of headroom. Look at the cutout that they've done. So, I mean, you can actually be like seven and a half foot tall and you're gonna fit just fine back here in the Sierra. Now I'm 5'9", I'm a little bit more modest than that seven and a half foot and Drew is five foot eight and this is the seating adjustment. We're sitting at about 11 inches of additional knee space. Also, my feet can easily slide up underneath the seat. So comfort is top notch with this model. Now, let's also talk about luxury that you're gonna get. We do have two cup holders up here in the top. We have heated rear seats. That's of course standard on Denali trim levels. As we drop down below that, we also have standard air vents on every single Sierra. Additionally, we have a charging USB-C and an USB-A. Uh, no household outlet though. I am noticing that here in the rear. If we fold down the center armrest, we do have some cup holders inside of here. And I do wanna talk about another unique feature that this has. You'll notice that we actually have this little tab right here. You can pop that open. You have additional storage under, uh, back behind the seat back. So maybe you can even store some of your favorite donuts in the back and the kids won't even know that they're sitting on top of them. Additionally, this is a pickup truck after all, so you can just lift up the seat bottoms. That's gonna reveal all of this space down on, underneath of the seat that you can use. And then if you look at the door trim, the door trim is gonna be special for Denali Ultimate. So we have more premium materials, leather from top to bottom, more of that wood trim, beautiful uh, stitching details going through all of it. We're also gonna have metal speaker grills in the back. So we even have a uh, speaker grill up top and in the bottom, nicely finished in metal. We have a ton of door storage. And I even wanna point out little small details like this assist handle in the back is wrapped in leather. Well guys, here we are behind the wheel of the 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Of course, we can't wait to show you what this is about. Uh, behind the wheel, we will be talking about a lot of different things as you can see on the screen right now, but we're gonna go ahead and start with a hard acceleration. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That sounds really yeah. good. <laughs> Got the all-American V8 muscle getting you up to 60 miles per hour effortlessly. Now, like we mentioned at the beginning, this is the 6.2 liter V8 on board. It's by no means the only choice you have. Uh, in the Sierra lineup, you have a lot of different selections that you can make. Um, this is probably the most you know luxurious powertrain option. That's why it's here in the Denali Ultimate with 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, and I mean, we've sampled this 6.2 out in so many different products. The Yukon has it. Of course, the Silverado has it. The Escalade has it. So, you know, this is a very premium powertrain experience. Like Drew said, it's very refined in its power delivery. And I think you're just really going to love that V8 growl. A lot of uh, full-size trucks are actually starting to push towards having V6s. And I think it's just refreshing to get in a truck that has that big, nice, burly V8 growl. Right, especially a luxury truck. <laughs> yeah, that active exhaust sounds really good out here on the road, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Now, of course, as far as other bits of your powertrain, you do have a 10-speed automatic transmission paired with this engine. Um, nice and smooth transmission. This is the same um, transmission that General Motors uses across their truck and big SUV lineup, and it's an excellent transmission. It keeps the engine right in its power band, and it doesn't get confused even though it has a lot of gears. Yeah. Now, it is worth noting, of course, with this Denali Ultimate trim level, you do have standard four-wheel drive. You can also get two-wheel drive depending on what other trim levels you choose. And speaking of other trim levels, let's talk about those other powertrain options because, uh, of course, GMC is going to give you a lot of options. You're not just stuck in this fully loaded Denali Ultimate configuration. Uh, so you have a standard 2.7-liter turbo four-cylinder, 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. As you move up, you have a 5.3-liter V8. 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. You have this 6.2 liter V8, and then you also have a turbo diesel. That's a 3 liter turbo diesel in line 6. Uh, 200, 305 horsepower, 495 pound-feet of torque. So, four engine options for the Sierra to meet whatever your truck needs may be. Um, I think this is my favorite engine combination. Um, of course, this is going to be probably one of the pricier options in the engine lineup. I do also want to quickly mention that uh, Drew was talking about the 10-speed automatic. If you choose that base 2.7-liter turbo four-cylinder, you will instead have an 8-speed automatic transmission. <laughs> yeah, even when you're just accelerating lightly, the power is really effortless. And now that we're just up to highway speed, I do want to talk about your ride quality for this model. This is an exceptionally good riding truck. Of course, this is a luxury truck, so you need that good ride quality, and indeed you're going to have it with this Denali Ultimate. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you choose a Denali trim level or above, that's where you get the standard adaptive dampers. They do a fantastic job of making sure your ride quality is very impressively good for a truck. I'm, we've been in other versions of the Sierra as well. It's not bad ride quality, but this is just going to give you that extra level of refinement. Make sure it doesn't really feel like you're in a truck uh, just sitting in the ride quality. And then as far as the seats themselves, these are very comfortable. I'm actually getting a massage right now, so <laughs> utmost of comfort for this model. But I do want to just go ahead and get our sound level reading going 55 miles per hour. And going 55 miles per hour, we're sitting at 59.1 decibels as our sound level reading. And we don't have to guess how that compares to some of the competition because on carconfections.com slash sound level readings, we can see all of the trucks that we've tested out. And we've really tested out a lot of trucks. And as far as how that does compare to some of those rivals, this particular model that we tested out today is actually going to be on the upper end of the uh, truck segment. However, we have tested out uh, other Sierra Denali's, and I don't see any reason why that would change for 2024. That tested out a lot quieter. Um, so do keep that in mind. Of course, each day that you test things out, it has a little bit of variation. It's a little bit more windy. Uh, we're doing it in the winter time. We didn't have a lot more wind in the winter. So keep that in mind. I think you're going to have a very quiet cabin uh, with this Denali Ultimate Sierra, that is for sure. Now, as far as fuel economy is concerned, let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, of course, you're not going to get fantastic fuel economy out of a 6.2 liter V8, as you would expect. We're coming in at 16 miles a gallon combined for 2024 with this Denali Ultimate 6.2 liter four wheel drive model. Um, of course, you can get better fuel economy if you would uh, choose the diesel option. The diesel actually comes in at 26 MPG. So if you're really looking for the better fuel economy, I would suggest getting the diesel uh, engine option. Well, there's our auto start stop um, operating. It's pretty smooth overall. I will say, it being a big V8. Yeah, it's very smooth. I think you will hear it though, because this is a big burly V8. You can definitely hear when it turns on and off. That's for you sure. You turn on the awesome stereo, yeah. maybe you won't. <laughs> 
All right. And now it's time for us to get into one of our other elements that we like to do in all of our reviews, our air ball and slam dunk, our favorite element and our least favorite element. Drew, do you want to go ahead and kick us off with the slam dunk for this Denali Ultimate Sierra? Yeah, so for the slam dunk, we have got to say the cabin. I mean, this is an absolutely... <laughs> stunning place to yeah. spend time and just when you think trucks can't get more luxurious gmc comes in with the ultimate version and uh one ups everybody else basically yeah i mean it's just so nice i mean even the just the little details that like having the etchings in the wood i mean it really just makes you feel like you are in a special special place now as far as our air ball is concerned um there are a few things that we would like to see on this fully loaded version of the Sierra. For instance, uh, we're not going to have the panoramic moonroof, and we also don't have the air ride suspension uh, for this Denali Ultimate model. And we are sitting at a very expensive price tag of nearly $90,000 as tested. So we really think that they should uh, yeah. throw the air ride in. And we say that yeah. because the Ram 1500 Limited, a com competitor, has those features and so does the uh, Yukon Denali Ultimate. So, yeah. you know, if we had complete feature parity between those two models, that would be great. And I do want to talk about your warranty, last of all. So we have a three-year, 36,000-mile basic warranty. We have a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. Additionally, we do also get one service visit done by GMC Complimentary, which is a nice little feature that they're throwing in. Now you should have probably figured out at this point that all this luxury isn't going to come cheap and indeed prices are going to be pretty high for this truck. The Denali Ultimate is going to start at $82,500. Now of course there are a lot of different other trims that you can see on the screen right now. You don't have to get something quite that expensive but if you want all the luxury the Denali Ultimate is going to be the way to go. Now as far as this model we have I believe every option you can get on this. So 82.5 starting, 2200 bucks for Super Cruise. We have 1095 for the paint color. We also have a few other options plus 1995 destination, 88,655 as tested today. Now, if you're looking to buy a GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate or any new vehicle, we want to remind you to go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now, on our website, we have a tool that will connect you with local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. Additionally, it's going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's going to be it for our in-depth review of the 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. By subscribing, you help us to make more car reviews like this and inform you of some 2024 changes, as well as stay up to date with the latest cars on the market. So please hit that subscribe button down below. If you're already a part of our family, thank you so much for your continued support, and we really appreciate your contribution to the channel. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive ducks.